All right, so yeah, this this is a higher magnification than what this microscope has a little higher magnification. So that would have been the advantage of the dissecting scope if I had gotten it out, but but I didn't. You'd be able with the dissecting scope. You can see a little bit. Uh, you can far farther away, and you see more of the image all at once. Um, so uh, what is what is this organ that we're looking at here? Spinal cord. Yeah, this is spinal cord. Okay, nervous system organ. And so if you scan, okay, I see a space right here. What's that opening, that circular? Central That's the central canal. Yeah, and so if we, we look there and we see this, and then we compare and go to the other side. Okay, what looks like more of a space or groove? Fissure. Fissure, yeah, this one here. So this must be the anterior side, because here's the fissure. It's a little separated apart right there. It happens when you section, things sometimes fall apart. Um, out here, this, uh, somebody called this, what somebody call that? The floating, floating something, floating layer. This is what? Duramater. Yeah, that's the duramater. Yeah, the duramater out here. Okay, the arachnoid mater kind of fell apart. The pia mater is this one that's right on top of the spinal cord. I know on your list it just said spinal meninges, okay, but I want to at least show you the duramater. So let's do the hard stuff first. Okay, so out here, so I went lateral, and so there's this large sort of circular thing, and it's connected to these sort of, yeah, okay. Yeah, and so we said this was anterior, so if I go back, okay, there's my posterior median sulcus right there, and I go lateral from there. Okay, uh, the connection is a little messy right there, a little bit breaking off right there, but here you can see the what? What is that nerve? Somebody said it. This nerve right here. That's the dorsal root. Yeah, that's the dorsal root. Yes, it is connected. These are the axons. It is connected over here to the white matter, though it doesn't look too good. It does connect. Okay, so then here's the dorsal root. That's the nerve with all the axons. Okay, and then that is going to be connected to the cell bodies. Ganglion. So this is what? What's this whole structure? Ganglion. Dor ganglion, yeah, dorsal root ganglion. That's the dorsal root ganglion. So that's a specific name for that ganglion. There's other ganglia in the body, okay, other than just the dorsal root one. Um, you have lots of these. Um, this is the, called the dorsal root ganglion. And those are all the little somas. See, so that's the cell body of the neuron, and its axon is over here. Okay, so it's connected. And this is it's a transition, so you do see some axons, you know, stretching in there. And okay, and so then coming out over here would be the other side of that that dorsal root. <coughs> and what's happening over here on this side? That's probably the ventral root. It's a little bit, a little messy. It's probably the ventral root. It seems to have kind of broken away from its connection to the spinal cord over here, and then it's coming together over here. That one's a little iffy. But we can definitely see the dorsal root ganglion and the dorsal root right there. Okay, let's look over here now. <coughs> All right, is this gray matter or white matter? White matter. Good, and what's the dominant structure in there? What is that? Myelinated, Myelinated axons, yeah. Okay, and then this is gray matter. <coughs> And in here is lots of neuroglial cells, and what's the other dominant structure in there? Somas. Somas, yeah. So lots of neuroglia and lots of somas. So if you looked in there, um, you may have just saw what looked like a web of stuff. That's the neuroglial cells along with the, and then the somas are in there too. Okay, so you need to know the different horns. Okay, so how about this here? Ventral gray horn. Anterior ventral gray horn, same thing. Anterior gray horn, uh-huh. If you happen to call it ventral, that's fine. And the lateral gray horns sometimes are pretty tricky to discern, but it comes out a little bit right here. So here's the lateral gray horn here. And then back here, what do you got right here? Posterior gray horn. Posterior gray horn, good. And then there's the two gray commissures. So this one is what? What's this one? Anterior gray commissure. Posterior gray commissure. Yeah, so usually gray matter is the somas and the neuroglial cells. 
but sometimes there's some axons in there, but not so many. Okay, so yeah, this is crossing over of axons to communicate with the other side of the spinal cord. But in general, you want to think of gray matter, somas, and neuroglial cells. Some, maybe some unmyelinated axons, but mostly somas and neuroglial cells. Okay, so there's your gray matter. We did that, and then now we need to do the white matter, okay, which is comprised of those tracks. Tracks are grouped into columns. Okay, so this big column back here, we're on the posterior side, what's all this? Posterior white column, posterior white column. good. Is that a ascending track or a descending track? Ascending. Remember the wave? Is that an ascending track or a descending track? Ascending, ascending. good, that's ascending tracks. Is that carrying afferent information or efferent information? Afferent. Is that carrying sensory information or motor information? Sensory. Sensory. Okay. Okay, so then this, I moved over here laterally to the central canal. And so what's this mass of white matter called? Lateral, Lateral white, white column. Lateral white column. Good. And then what's in between here? What's this mass of white matter? Anterior. Anterior white column. Good. And is this motor or sensory? Motor. Motor. Is this an ascending tracks or descending tracks? Descending. Descending. descending tracks. Good. You're getting it. And remember the lateral was pretty much split right in half there. Okay. And then a little trickier. What about the gray horns? Let's start with the easy one. Posterior gray horn. Okay. Remember the wave. Is this a sensory or motor or somas in there? Sensory. Those sensory. are sensory. Good. Okay, a little trickier over here on this side because of the lateral gray horn. It makes it a little less less clear. Okay, what about the anterior gray horn? Is that sensory or motor? Motor. So motor. In there. That's motor. And then the lateral, which one are we going to group that with? Motor. Yeah, it's motor. You're going to group that with the anterior. Remember I said the anterior and lateral are motor, which was with my ants like neat, but then everybody kept mixing it up with the white matter. <laughs> so don't mix that up with the white matter. Okay, white matter is is a little more straightforward. This is the one that has a little extra part. Okay, so anterior gray horn and lateral gray horn are, are motor. All right, let's look at the list. What else do we need to cover on there? I think that was it. Uh, okay, so that's everything on there. Is there questions about this particular?